Finally, on first at 430 all week long, we're exploring what life after COVID may look like. Right now, Team 12's Janelle Bludeau discovers what changes at the grocery store may become permanent and what else could be coming down the line. From the enhanced cleaning to the explosion of curbside pickup, grocery stores like Kroger quickly adapted to the pressure of the pandemic. Well, I think that the safety and sanitation piece will stick around and should stick around forever. The Houston president Joe Kelly believes some things like the cleaning efforts and new customer behaviors could be here to stay. They may keep those shopping habits. They may buy larger. They may eat at home more often. They may find that that's been better for their family. We've heard that quite a bit. And embracing the future, Kroger will also be adding smart carts or Krogo carts so customers can check out from their shopping cart. You go in there, you th throw your items inside of the shopping cart. The shopping cart will, will pick up your items and show it on a digital list uh, right on the screen in front of you. Caper, the company behind the smart cart, is hoping one day they'll be inside every grocery store across the country as they eye expanding into large markets like Texas. They say the pandemic is what's pushed grocery stores to be more accepting of the touchless system. We're getting retailers globally reaching out to us that want to work with us. Because touchless is the new trend. Things that are non-invasive but are safe and secure. University of Houston professor Dr. Barbara Stewart says the pandemic has advanced grocery store shopping by five to ten years in only a matter of months. So the things that we've seen, an explosion of online and a great growth in curbside delivery for groceries. Retailers were literally forced to adapt and then so were the customers. Of consumers over 60 years uh, old, 40% tried online shopping for the first time. They found it efficient and convenient. In Houston, I'm Janelle Bluda. Well, here in Arizona, Kroger operates Fry's grocery stores, so we could see some of those changes in the future. Our Life After COVID series continues tomorrow as we take a look at the future of work from home and the great American migration during COVID.